Darrell Evans with Rob Blake. We're at the draft here in Buffalo, New York, 2016 NHL Amateur Draft. Night one of the draft, Rob. I know the Kings do not have a pick in the first round, but what have you guys been talking about and uh, what are the priorities for the Kings this year going into the draft? Well, I think you know over the last couple of days you, you secure your list here. You kind of look at your spots, but a lot of it is communications. Uh, you know, there's not a lot of hotels that teams stay at. There's a lot of uh, mixing around and you're talking to different teams, kind of seeing their needs, seeing if there's a match anywhere in between that. When you look at last season, the way the season came to an end, Kings not uh, didn't go nearly as far as they'd like to have gone, but was that maybe a little bit of an eye-opener as to what maybe the Kings needed moving yeah. forward and what we'll address in this year's draft? I, I think so, and, and, and it, it can be done in the draft here. We might not have as many picks as we'd like, but it can also be done through free agency. We'll be looking at different players there or via the trade. So, you know, you get a lot of communications. I, I think we understand our need there at uh, depth and defense a little bit, and, uh, you know, you can always have more scoring. You can add scoring throughout the lineup in different spots, and, and we'll be looking at different options and I know you look at you know players coming up through the draft. You also look at any uh, other NHL teams, free agency, and things like that. But talk about like from within players down in Ontario and yeah. maybe the way that they've progressed and where you see them maybe moving into next season. Yeah, we've been fortunate. So Ontario uh, and then uh, with the two years combined in the playoffs, they have seven rounds of playoffs. So that, that's a type of development that's very hard to, to teach. Well, we have a great development staff, but to teach a playoff atmosphere, a final atmosphere and things. So they were experiencing another three rounds this year. And, you know, Dowd and Mersh and Gravel and Forbert, uh, these are names that you're going to hear on the Kings roster. They, they put their time in the minors. They've done well. They're ready to make the chance and, and take the opportunity in the NHL. And kind of a little bit away from the draft, but just a couple of days ago in Las Vegas, uh, yeah. Las Vegas, Nevada was uh, granted an NHL franchise starting in the 2017-18 season. Uh, your thoughts on that? Good travel for us. <laughs> Way better travel. No, I, I think it'll be great. To, you know, I know there's a lot of excitement around there and uh, you know, it just shows that, uh, you know, from California and Arizona and to San Jose and Anaheim and L.A., the success that hockey's had there, uh, the teams that they produce now, I think Vegas will follow suit with that. And with the National Hockey League being the first of the four major sports making that move into Nevada, it's a, I think it's a pretty, pretty special time within our game. I think so, and I think you know the guys are obviously excited about the opportunity. Uh, you know, it'll, it'll be a little different to atmosphere at first, probably going in and out of there and that. We've had great success in uh, preseason games there. I mean, it's been over and over with, with Colorado and L.A., so uh, we've seen the excitement it can attack. Well, good luck to you and your staff uh, through the course of the draft, and uh, we'll look forward to catching you up when things wind down. Perfect. Thank you.